Hello and welcome to my first tutorial. Today I want to show you how to make a custom button for Tycoon. First of all we need the camera sequence device. Also we need a trigger. And we need two cylinders. Also we need a level sequence and if we want to have a different texture, a small material, constants vector 4 and we're making this as a simple material. So these are the things we need for now. Um, we are basically doing it like this, we using the same position uh, for two um, cylinder. One of them I'm making it a bit smaller and now I'm dragging this two and make it this bigger. It's basically the bottom layer and this one what moves get this green uh, design. And I also make this a bit bigger, so like this. Basically it's up to you how you design this. And then I'm putting this on top of the trigger. So what we are basically doing is, we're playing this level sequence by pressing the trigger. And we can play this, this level sequence if we put it in here, in the cinematic sequence device, so it's now inside of the sequence, and we're adding the user op options functions, and the easiest thing is the pick actor from scene, and just selecting our trigger, but you can also just select the trigger like this, trigger 1 we only have one trigger right now searching it up like this and selecting the trigger like this also we need to change the non to on trigger that means basically on the trigger ring we play this function otherwise it will not work at the moment, if we play the game now, we still have it visible in game. We probably don't want to have the trigger showing up, so we make it invisible in game. So we have now the trigger and uh, the cinematic sequence device ready. So what we finally need to do is creating the animation. For this, we are opening the uh, level sequence. So. For moving an actor, um, we need to select the cylinder. So act, we, we select, we click on add, actor to sequence, and then we selecting the, um, the cylinder we want to move. And in this case, it's cylinder two. Now we have the option to transform it. For transforming, we're using the location. This is basically making keyframes. To make an animation. For now, for, for my animation we need three locations. One will be the highest location, one will be the pressed location and then back to the highest position. Also we need to change the length of the animation. So I'm ending the animation on the last keyframe. The last and the first keyframe is, for my case, the same position, so I only need to change the middle position, the middle keyframe. I'm doing this by clicking on the keyframe and using the properties and using the height property here. It's really hard to see because it's over my screen right now, but we are doing it like this and now we can see it. It will only show up by 
letting it go. So we can still it down. Like this. Oops. And now it's basically done. We can test it by playing. And now we see the animation running. Yeah, we need to save this. And I th think we are already done. I'm launching the session now. Save basically all the files. And that should be it. It's a pretty simple um, technique. So finally we are now in our session and you see now here is our button. You cannot see the trigger, but the trigger is there. And let's go on to it. And you see now the trigger triggering this animation. Yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Subscribe, follow and yeah. Have a nice day.